We're currently homeschooling, and I thought for my son's design technology, I'd ask him to design and make himself a drinks coaster. I gave him free roam to make it any which way he wanted, and it was interesting to see that his idea was completely different than all of my coasters that I've ever made. I had filmed a couple of clips for Instagram and wasn't planning on making it into a tutorial of any kind, but I'd seen a question on one of the groups about making a triangle, so I thought why not edit the clips and have a mini tutorial on the off chance that there's one or two techniques on there that might help others who are new to Vectric. So on creating a new file, the main thing was to have a job size big enough so that you could see the entire project. The plastic we were using was 200mm square and 13mm thick, and you can see all the job setup settings here. Now we designed the coaster to be the shape of a triangle, which was different from the usual circular or square shapes that you normally see for coasters. A question that I'd seen on one of the groups was how do you make a triangle vector, and it's really simple once you know how. Under create vectors, you click on draw polygon. A lot of people seem to associate polygons with more complex shapes like octagons, but a polygon is basically a shape with straight lines that literally just join up. So a triangle is a polygon as it's got three sides that all join up. So by setting the number of sides to three, you get your triangle. And by inputting the side length of 170mm, this gave the size needed for the coaster once create was clicked. The triangle was placed in the centre of the slate by having an X and Y of 0. After pressing close, it became apparent that the sharp corners would be an issue. So this was easily fixed by going into Edit Object section and clicking on Fillet. Now he'd set the radius to 6mm normal, and then when he clicked on the three points or the triangle, it created a smooth round curve which makes it more aesthetically pleasing, and the piece feels a lot safer, and with the bonus that it's easier to machine. Now he could have left it there, but he wanted a small pocket for his bottle to sit into, and did this by creating a circle in the Create Vector section, and making sure that X and Y was zero, so it would sit central inside the triangle, and it was as simple as that. The tool paths were pretty straightforward. An upcut spiral was used to make it easier for the plastic swarf to be removed, and the circular pocket was set to half the depth of the material. Tabs were also added to prevent the corset from coming loose when cutting. The coaster machine very easily, but after cutting off the tabs, I rounded the edges off for him using the table router, and after a very quick sanding it was all finished. It's certainly different than any other design I've ever tried, but it works really well, and will probably last him forever. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels. 
or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support.